this is the Black Mage F30 that's just been released in India with some top apps, some great features on the OS, coupled with 10.2 straight out of the box, available early next week across the country for Rs. 39,990. Just a quick look on the hardware here. This comes with a beautiful 5-inch Super AMOLED display at 295 ppi. 5-inch all the way across. This is our first device in this segment. If you just look at the design per se, this comes with the beautiful glass weave that people are so used to and love with the Q10. It's stronger, lighter, much more durable in plastic. If we talk about the internals of the device, this comes with proprietary BlackBerry antenna technology, which enhances data rates, call connections, quality for the end user. Uh, this comes with as a 5-inch Super AMOLED display, as I said, it's an S-Type pixel RGB arrangement uh, which gives you that absolutely amazing sub-pixel arrangement to enhance the picture quality a lot more. If you look at the aluminum uh, type band around here, it gives it that beautiful premium finish. The volume rocker is right here. This device also comes with four microphones which are used for noise cancellation to give you that extended or optimum sound quality, what we call as BlackBerry Natural Sound. At the top we have um, the lock button and the audio jack, the standard 3.5 uh, mm audio jack. On the sides we have the micro USB and the mini or the micro HDMI output as well. This device also comes with stereo speakers coupled with the four microphones. This gives the user that optimum BlackBerry Natural Sound which basically covers the entire audio spectrum, 20 to 20 kilohertz, and gives you that optimum sound in a BBM video call, taking collaboration into the next level, where you almost feel like you're having a call, uh, irrespective of whether the person is in the globe. You almost feel like they're sitting in the next room right next to you. So what are the specifications? Uh, in terms of specs, this is a 1.7 gig dual core CPU. It comes with an Adreno 320 quad core GPU as well. This is a beautiful, long-lasting 2880 milliamp battery. As I said before, it's a 5-inch Super AMOLED display at 295 ppi. It's an 8-megapixel camera at the rear, uh, which comes with image stabilization, autofocus, um, all the good stuff. Uh, it's a 5-element f2.2 lens uh, with 1080p HD recording. This has a front uh, 2 megapixel camera as well which is 720p HD recording as well so this gives you the absolute amazing performance on a video call wherein you use you can use the front facing camera and you can switch to the back camera as well can you show that um, Additionally, this also comes with features called as Miracast, uh, which you can use to project exactly what is on your screen onto a Miracast enabled display. This also comes with micro USB uh, OTG support, USB on the go support, wherein you can use external peripherals on the device. You can use gaming consoles. If you've left your laptop back at home, you can plug in your keyboard and use this device as is both for personal and work while in, you're in the office along with the BlackBerry Balance technology. And this supports Wi-Fi Direct, uh, DLNA, all the good uh, standard technologies as of today straight out of the box. Can you showcase that to the natural sound? Uh, sure. Some... So before we go into natural sound element, just looking at the OS, um, something as simple as lock screen previews. With a simple tap, a user gets a lock screen preview. This is customizable. Um, and this is taking the lock screen to the next level. It's not only a simple lock screen, but it's informative and it continues to present relative information to the user. As soon as I swipe up, coming to BlackBerry Natural Sound, the fact that it's coupled, it's a, it's a feature of both hardware and software combined. Um, looking at the four microphones, along with proprietary audio technology from BlackBerry, we come with natural sound. We have some sample audio clips right here. Um, I don't know if you hear it on your um, recorder, but if I, to demonstrate this, I can play a BlackBerry uh, or a sample narrowband track, which is mono, and then it will automatically play the BlackBerry natural sound track right after this. If I was off. If I just want to so I'm turn it off.
So this was the mono track. Let's listen to what it sounds like in Blackberry National Sound Spectrum. And this is playing from the device. This is a sample audio clip that was recorded using Blackberry Natural Sound. Now, if, say for example, I want to listen to someone singing, so let's do the same thing. We listen to a singing. And it's going to play the natural sound singing track. So what happens is, because of the proprietary technology, the entire spectrum is covered, and you hear the little clinks and chinks and the nuances that are in the ambience to give you that much more realistic sound, to give you that much more nicer feeling of actually being in conversation, in communication with the person you're in a BBM video call with. Can you show the video quality? Sure. So looking at the videos, right? Um, like I said, this was a 5 inch Super AMOLED display. If I just look at the video, what this does is because of the pixel arrangement, um, let me play a sample clip. This gives us those much nicer, deeper contrasts, a beautiful color saturation, the nice, bright display. And because it's AMOLED, it's super AMOLED uh, for that matter, also gives you that optimum battery performance. So, an example we used during the demonstration earlier today is while you're watching a video and someone sends you a BBM message, you don't need to leave what you're doing. You can actually respond. You'd see a BBM prompt come up right at the top. And without leaving what you're doing, which is watching a video, you could actually just tap on it right away, uh, respond to it right within the video, and continue watching your video seamlessly. Same, same example is if I use the great uh, HTML5 browser, which is uh, flash capable right out of the box. If I'm browsing or reading an important document, I get an incoming BBM, I see a toast right up here at the bottom. Without leaving the browser, without hitting a back key, without performing any gesture as such, I would actually just simply need to tap on the reply key. A keyboard would pop up right within the browser as an overlay, and I can respond to the BBM right there and then. You would get a preview of all your messages, SMS and BBM, and you can actually directly reply to SMS and BBM right from within the application you're in. There's a lot more features in terms of the OS. Um, you know, initially we said that this was built to flow, Black like 10. Uh, a good example was BBM Now. It's also built to learn. As an example, if I actually go into Hub, there's a new feature called as Priority Hub. What this does is it actually learns your usage, who you communicate with the most, who you chat with the most, who you talk to the most on, on the phone, and it builds its own prioritized list straight out of the box. It actually has some ground rules. So if I go into settings and priority hub, it has some ground rules that it uses to build that list. One is sender has the last name, which means relationships are important. Conversations that I have started, which means that you would ideally like to follow replies to messages that you've started. And obviously the fact that you want to see messages with high importance automatically come in. And a good example we used earlier today was if I'm in a flight for a couple of hours and I land and I get a lot of emails as soon as I land the flight, there's over 100 emails in waiting. I don't really need to look at all my emails right away. All I would do is go straight away into Priority Hub. It would give me those top 20 emails that it has learned from me using my relationships over time. I can reply to those right away and then go back to the other second priority list of emails that need my attention. Now, it's not only a dumb device, right? It only doesn't use three rules out of the box. It's also something that you can teach as you go. So if, as an example, if I actually tap on an email, I would, I could actually add someone as priority. I could possibly add that conversation as priority or I can add the contact as priority. What this enables the user to do is teach the device who is important to it, while the device also uses its own natural inbuilt algorithm to prioritize and present all these elements to the end user. So we've looked at Built to Flow, which is using BBM Now, Instant Preview and Instant Reply. We looked at Built to Learn, which is 
priority hub. There's also something really cool called this attachments view. What this intelligently does is actually shows you all your attachments that you've received over email. You don't need to search through your emails. You can just straight away go into attachment view and pick on the attachment or the file that you want. There's another really cool feature specifically launched for the India users. If I go into compose and try typing an email, we now come with native English input with automatic language detection. So say for example, I type up Kese ho? Question mark. How are you? What you've seen me do is type the same phrase in English and English without actually ever swapping the language. So this device not only comes with native English input to add that fun element to all the prosumers and consumers out there that love us but also comes with automatic language detection wherein you can use up to three languages on the same keyboard and it will give you those predictions for you to flick over right onto the screen and we've looked at built to flow built to learn built to interact was using features such as miracast using the super amulet display wherein you can either interact with your automobile where it senses over Bluetooth what brand of your automobile it is paired with and it gives you features that it is compatible with or using features such as Miracast and or Wi-Fi Direct you could mirror exactly what is on your screen on a larger Miracast display and built for mobile is when we take the BBM video context into the whole next new level of collaboration using BlackBerry Natural Sound which is uh, optimum BlackBerry technology a function of both hardware and software that is now available on the Z30 at launch. This was a quick sneak on the product. This will be available early next week in retail stores across India. And this product will be available for Rs. 39,990 to the consumers out there.